Hey, Sneelings back tonight. Yeah, but of KDE again, Dan. This is Super X version 1.1, .1, based on Precise, okay? So it's Kubuntu based, but it's got its own KDE thing going down. Yeah, bit thingy, didn't it? Bit super duper and lovely. Originates from India, apparently, when I read the old stuff going down. He got out of college and didn't want to do anything and done this for a couple of years and now he's getting down and going back into college etc 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 but i'm just going to go through it with you and see what we've got so up here we have files and folders himal which is called chunderbird we've got control panel and chromium as one of your web browsers there is firefox too but we'll get back to that in a minute but multimedia internet graphics games office system and utilities as you can see there's no actual start menu as such here but a big deal really icon base it really reminds me of a distro i done about, oh, about a year ago and it wasn't super x but it had the same sort of layout for kde okay so we go to multimedia as you can see you get k3b lovely jubbly you get a movie player a music player open shot as standard okay so we're going to open open the shot up and see if it all works well it should do because i've just installed blender okay the latest blender but i'll show you that in a second too if i go to help and about da, 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 it's open shot 1.4.0 so nice and new so that's super duper isn't it and just to show it all works if i've got a title an animated title okay and we'll scroll down to well, it doesn't really matter what one we scroll down to but that one i do for now if we wait for it to load and refresh and normally you'd get uh, an error message if you didn't have blender installed but we have it installed so that's no big deal move it back there just to see I refresh it it always takes a couple of seconds that anybody uses it will know five or three there we go so blender works and so does open shot so you can do all your movie editing in super x yes that's all right so far isn't it? yeah that's all right so open multimedia up again what else we've got in here for you you have sound recorder sound settings and take pictures very nice indeed we'll go back 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 under internet we have of course your bluetooth stuff because it's k in it it's k it's kde we have chat with chromium browser ah, chunderbird as i said before firefox 13 so i'll open it up for you wait for it to run and while it's doing it i'll have a bit of drinkage mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. and there you go comes up all nice now one thing i did love about this flash is pre-installed for you okay well a sort of flash but it plays anyway so, anyway, so we'll do this we'll put me in and I'll quite play you a quick video. So if we scroll down a bit, scroll down, scroll down. That one there, yo ho ho, that's the latest one I've done for simplicity a while ago. We'll click on the video and you'll see, right, if you wait a second, dun, 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 that's quite smooth, isn't it? Very smooth, yeah, lovely. I'm liking it already, nice. So that all works, super duper. We'll get rid of that. Okay, so I went to number one, that internet, but we'll go to graphics. As you can see, I've installed Blender, so I'm going to open that up and show you what one it is. Here we go. Five, five, three, two, one. Blender 2.6.2 or 2.62. So it's nice and new, lovely of the jubbly. Okay. Graphics again, we're going to go to. Right, Gimpy is here as standard, and you also get LibreOffice Draw, by the way. You get the full LibreOffice suite. So open up Gimpy. Now, I have opened up before, so it should be reasonably fast. And it's Gimpy 2.8, so you get a nice new one to play with. Super of the duper, I'm liking it already. So, not only can I use my favourite Linux distro, even though it's KDE, okay, uh, one of my favourite Linux distros, KDE. Or yeah, I don't mind KDE, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. yeah, but it comes all the stuff I need, okay? Okay, under games, right, you only get one game, and it's patience baby patience but as it's k you get it all here so i'm going to, have to help about k patience and it should tell us all about it there we go all there for you to look at and use so you get quite a few games here so that's nice for people who like playing card games like me mum and stuff like that okay under office as i've said before we get the full LibreOffice suite so we can go to a word processing so LibreOffice 3, we'll wait for it to come up and we'll show you what version we're at. It should be quite a recent one because it wasn't released ooh, a couple of days ago, I think it was. Yeah, about two, or two days ago. Yeah, it must be like that. There we go. Actually looks quite nice in KD, isn't it? It's all right. I was expecting Calibra, this is the, the Calibra suite, but hey, it's not here. No. This is LibreOffice 3.5.3.2, so that's nice and new. Lovely jubbly. Nice. All right, under system, over down, and the system 
Right, I did have problems getting the additional drives to install, but I had to install G GK Su via command line, and then everything went hunky dory by then, so I didn't really worry too much. Control panel, disk burning, as we've seen before, files and folders. So basically, everything is here in this, in the thing here that we want to see. System monitors there, slow it up. Yeah, let's open it up and see what we got. There we go. So we've got system load. It ain't too bad, really, is it, for KDE? Being really, really, really honest. KDE is normally quite a hog, but I'm quite really pleased with this. So yeah, that's super duper. Maybe because it's so stripped back with its own like doofer, if you know what I mean. Go to system again. Okay. You just get the Muon Software Center, which is rather nice and rather quick. You get your package manager, doesn't want to get packages, partition editor, password manager, do your screen stuff, software updater. It won't download a couple of updates at the moment, but that may be me or it may be the net. It all depends on it. So we're going to go to the Muon Software Center. I'll open him up and have a look in the book. And I thought we'd just quickly download something and show you what it's all about. So make it nice and small. So if we go to graphics, sorry, double click, forgot about that one. And we go to photography, double click that one. Do we want to do it? No, we'll go back one now. We go to publishing. Because so I know Scribus is in here. So there's Scribus. Do we want to install Scribus? Yes, we do. Okay, so we wait. What's your password? And my password's in. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long to download. I've got a nice fast connection, so whoosh. Well, for the UK, anyway. So it gets whoosh, whooshy, 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 whooshy. More whooshing and whooshing of more whooshing. As it does, oh, that's some more drinkage. Hold on a second. <laughs> and then we'll start installing for us. It won't take too long. As you can see, look, it's rather nice and quick. Now, KDE has come on a long, long leaps and bounds, and a long, long way from it was a year or so ago when it was quite buggy. It's now really mature and really easy to use. You know what? I might even think about using KDE. I don't know yet. Ask me in about three, four months when I'm going to upgrade to something else. I don't know. So I've got a new system on, on the go and I say so I might install KD on it. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. But all will become clear in the future. If I go down here to the KD stuff down here, you get your four desktops, information, system notifications there, a clipboard, your sound, and my Ethernet connection, lock screen, and your shutdown menu. Right, my application was successfully installed. Now, where would I find that? I think that should be in Office, shouldn't it? Mm, it's not there. Where would it be? Should we go to graphics? Should be there, shouldn't it? Yeah, lovely. And there's Scribus. Now, hopefully, it's a new version or the newer version that I reviewed quite a while ago, and it looks like it is. So, wait for it to load up just a quick second or two. Fab for free to win. By the way, I do not recommend KDE for an old single core machine, okay? Unless it's a legacy KDE. But yeah, needs must, of course. But yeah, comes up all nice, as you can see. Make it nice and big. It fits into KDE. It's really nice, smooth, and lovely. I'm liking it. You liking it? I am, yeah. Under utilities over here, we get the Arconda tray, the archive manager, your calculator, your notepad, notes as well, touchpad sets, touchpad settings if you're on a laptop, and a virtual keyboard. All rather nice, isn't it? Well, obviously, you've got the old stuff up here for doing your widgets and your activities and launches and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's all right. Right, on the whole, I'm really, really impressed with SuperX because last time I've done a couple of KDEs, it just wasn't doing it for me. But this one is really, really sprightly and I like it. And I am going to actually rate it. Oh, by the way, it's called SuperX 1.1 Cassini, by the way, before I forget. Anyway, I really, really like it for KDE and I'm going to give it 89%. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye, bye.